Hey everyone, welcome to another Flutter tutorial. In our previous video, we learned how to manually set up Firebase for iOS, Android, and web app. This process takes more time and is likely to cause error on different platforms. To solve this, we are going to learn about Flutter Firebase CLI, which allow us to set up Firebase on all platforms at once easily. Firebase CLI provides us an easiest way to set up our Flutter project with Firebase in every platform. I have created a brand new Flutter project. You can use your existing project as well or create a new project after your project is ready now i have dives into the firebase first log in your firebase with your account and add a project give your project name continue again continue and select a default account create project it takes some time wait until it Now Firebase project is ready. We can manually set up our Flutter project with Firebase in our iOS device, Android device and web app. But now we have set up our Flutter project with Firebase using the CLI in every platform at once. Now we read this. The easiest way to get you started is to use the Flutter Fire CLI. Before you continue, make sure first we need to install the Firebase CLI in our system. Click on there. It provides all the instructions that we need to do. First Windows, you can install the Firebase CLI for Windows using one of the following options. Standalone binary and npm. npm is the best way. npm support in every operating system. First we need to download the node. Go to the official Node.js website and download it. Select your operating system and just click on download button. You can easily download the Node.js. There is no need to set up. Just you need to download and install it. After you have installed the Node.js, you need to npm. The same for macOS and Linux as well. This is the best way. In, in Mac OS and Linux, there is auto install script is available. It takes more time to install npm except in every operating system. That's why in this video, we have set up our Flutter project with Firebase CLI by using the npm. Copy this command and hit in your terminal. Keep in mind, you already need to install the node in your system. It takes some time. We have wait until it. You can see we have successfully installed the npm in your system you face some other information as well i have already installed the npm that's why it's only update the npm for me after we have installed the npm now we have a login and test the firebase cli copy this command firebase login and hit it you can see i have already logged in it provides my email address if you have not logged in it navigates you to the firebase login and it's navigate you to the firebase and you need to just log in after that firebase project list it displays the list of projects that we have created in our firebase now i go to the documentation and let's see i think that's it we have back in firebase next and for any directory run this command copy this command and, and we have run this it also takes some time it shows the warning but this warning doesn't hamper our project and we have terminate our terminal because this command we need to paste this command in our project root directory we have copied this command from here and we have paste it in our project root directory let's we have installed this by hitting this two line of command i'll provide you this two command in video description after we have installed this copy this command again and paste it here 
fetching available firebase project it all aired the google service.json it also maintain the kotlin version and everything when we don't need to do anything it's already done everything that we have need to do and which platform should you configure we need to configure all this platform if you don't want to need setup in any platform just select by using the arrow key and press the space but i need to set up in all platform and just hit the enter you can see android ios web windows and mac OS. after that you need to provide your application id location of this application id is inside the app level build.gradle file you can copy from there and paste it after you have provided the application id and hit enter it look like this it's just a second it is successfully set up the firebase in android ios mac os web and the windows it provides the platform firebase app id it also create a firebase option dot file inside this we need to inside this file we need to add the firebase core package after successfully adding the package we have check our required file that is automatically generated by firebase cli you can check every of the file google service.json build.gradle file inside the plugin portlin version and in ios you can also check the info.plist google service.info.plist file all file are automatically generated by firebase cli First we check an iOS device it is correctly set up or not. Before that we need to initialize the Firebase inside the main function. And we have copied the SOM initialized Firebase code that is provided by Firebase itself and import the plugin and Firebase option dot dot file inside the main file. And finally, we run our project first in iOS device. We have faced the error. The plugin Firebase core requires the higher minimum iOS deployment. Deployment target to at least 13.0. We need to change a uh, iOS version, increase the 2 to 13 version. And again, we try to run our project. Let's hope this time our project is successfully run. It is working on iOS. Let's we try on web. In web version, it is also successfully run in our web platform. I check only on web and iOS. You can easily try it in other platform as well. It is the same process. Let's end the today's video. I hope you have learned from today's video. Thanks for watching.